do you get high at work? There's a lot of people out there that literally cannot clock in for a shift without being blasted. Every time they take a break, they got to take a rip while they're taking a break. I think it's wild, but for some people, they got to do it just to get through the shift. If you get high at your job, leave me a comment and let me know what type of job you work. Or if you don't get high and there's a reason why at your job, leave me a comment and let me know. I want to read through these and see. But this is always an interesting topic for me. I get asked about it here and there. I get asked about tolerance a lot. And one of the things I tell people is it's hard to be high all day at work and it's hard to be high after you get off your shift and want to relax. Now, it's a little bit different for me because I <laughs> I get high at work. I do a Twitch stream every night at 9 p.m. Eastern. And honestly, if I wasn't seshing, a lot of people just wouldn't watch anymore. But during the daytime, if I'm making a YouTube video, I try not to be high. I, obviously, some of my videos, I'm doing some rips in there, so I do get high. But I ultimately prefer to do a video where I'm not smoking because it's quicker. It's easier for me to edit when I'm not high. There's been so many times where I session the video to show some rips or show how something works. And I'm like, well, uh, I just want to chill now. So I'm going to edit this one tomorrow. So for me, I prefer the videos where I don't smoke because it's a quicker, easier process. I feel like I can be more efficient. And I really do save or try to save as much of my smoking as I can for the Twitch streams. But I've also worked in a number of places. I used to smoke when I worked at a legal shop selling this stuff. I used to smoke as much as I could. I'm surrounded by it all day. I'm getting cash tips where I'm like, hey, I got enough tips to buy that gram right there right before my lunch break. I know how this is going to go. And bro, I had a conversion van back in the day. You got blinds on the windows. You put one of those reflective screens up front. Nobody can see you. Nobody can see that you got a blowtorch and a honey straw in there and you're just ripping as many dabs as you can before you got to clock back in in 35 minutes. But I can't tell you the amount of times I spent $35, $45 on concentrates for the day, concentrates and flour, and I barely made like 100 bucks that day. Eight hour shift, you're getting paid like 12 bucks an hour. Maybe you didn't get a lot of tips that day. It's like it's barely 100 after taxes even less. There's an alarming amount of people out there that want to be high for their full eight hour shift and for the eight hours after they clock out and they're trying to relax before they go to sleep and redo it all again. It's hard to be high for both. Like it, it's hard to be high for, in my experience, more than five or six hours a day. You can do it, but the more you try to do it, the more of a diminishing return you get on that high. So it's really about balancing the high but it, it's hard to be high for eight hours a day so if you're trying to be high every time you got an eight hour shift or whatever that might be the thing that's crashing your tolerance so when you want to get off and and relax and take a nice big old rip or whatever it's not going to hit you as hard because you've been smoking all day at work but for some people their job they do it better when they're high these are the people i want to hear from some people are musicians artists some people out there before they do what they got to do they have to get high not everybody has the same type of job not everybody's job will permit them to have the same type of approach to whether they could be high or not but like i know there's plenty of people dealing with like heavy machinery and equipment and they're like nah bro i'm not i'm not trying to be high i could hurt myself or i could hurt somebody on accident like i wouldn't want my lifeguard to be high that person drowning or are they playing around? Ah, oh, dang, they're gone. I always think it's interesting how people relate it as getting paid to smoke or whatever. If I'm at my job when I do it, I'm getting paid to smoke. Just like people are like, bro, every time you gotta poop, just go to work and then clock in and then poop and you're getting paid to poop. Like, it's funny to think about it like that, but like, are you, are you really getting paid to smoke or are you just making less money for the day to be high while you're making the money. Now, I'm not telling you here what you gotta do either way. I really just wanna hear from people in the comments letting me know, do you get high at your job? Do you only get high at your job and you don't even care about getting high after because you know what? I just needed that to get through my shift. Now, there's always some people that are gonna be high at work on accident, right? You're like, all right, I got the day off. Let me just blaze. And then you get a phone call like, Hey, uh, 18 people called out. We need you to come in ASAP. You got something like that. It's like, well, you know, they, they, they need me. So while I will say if you're trying to manage your tolerance or you're trying to get higher during your sessions, do less sessions. 
do shorter sessions. Don't try to be high the whole time you're at work and high after work. But if you're like, nah, bro, I just, I, I just trying to get through this shift or whatever. Do what you got to do. <laughs> you, you're making less money so you can be high while you do it. Either way, uh, come get high with me at my job on Twitch. The session starts at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. If you have Amazon the Prime, but you can give me a dang old bonus straight from Jeff Bezos. You can subscribe to my Twitch for free. Have a lit day, my dudes.